Hey guys, RC here, back with some Football Manager. We are climbing the ladder here. Uh, so, we are playing with uh, Easterborn Borough. And last episode, of course, we had the showdown with Dunstable Town. And we lost 3-1. We were coming off a bad run of form where I was working on a new tactic in some games that I knew we would probably lose. And we just got drilled horribly. I've gone back to a different tactic, not the 3-5-2, but a 4-4-2, uh, a more of a flat 4-4-2. Uh, we did pull out a 1-0 win over Maidenstone. Lawrence Hume got a goal in the 90th minute. And a 3-1 win over Metropolitan Police. Marcus Bittner uh, got a start at center back in the new 4-4-2 tactic. Not new, but the newer one that we're playing. Uh, Terry Hammond picked up a goal in the 16th and Neville Moss in the 62nd minute. We led 3-0. Tommy Broadley got one back for them in the 82nd minute. Uh, so today we're playing uh, Havant and Waterlooville in the FA Trophy third qualifying round. And they want us to be competitive. We're not expected to get beyond this round. So uh, hopefully uh, they're, you know, if we can get past, you know, that'll help us out a little bit. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, we are back up to 12th with the two wins. Uh, we're almost to the equal number of wins as losses. So hopefully we can get there. And we're actually only eight points off the playoffs. And that leaves us 10 points out of the relegation stage. So the board's gotten a lot happier. And if we look at the club vision, we're up to a B. Uh, they are a little disappointed about some of the uh, results, which I get. But all things considered, uh, they are pleased. Uh, so we're working within the payroll budget, in fact. Let's see if I can... Uh... Not yet. Okay. Because um, I, I noticed they must have had an influx of cash. Yeah, we haven't taken a loan. So, you know, I don't remember seeing an influx of cash, but, uh, you know, we have we have gone up immensely. So, uh, and we are spending well below our payroll budget. So, I'm happy with that. All right, well, let's get to it. So, uh, we are the home club. We are underdogs. Drizzle, Gusty. Uh, we've won two out of 17. And this is the tactic that we're currently trying out. Um, again, Familiarity, eh, you know, I wanted to get the, but really playing, especially for a semi-professional team, playing is the only way you're going to get better at it. So uh, I do have this one, and this is the one I had been working on, but I, I, I just think this is going to be a better deal for us. Um, let's see, I want to put him on attack. We'll put him on attack. And we are overlapping. Okay. So we want to leave these guys on support. Do I want the double Mazella? If I put him on a defend, that strengthens our defense up here. And a ball winning midfielder. And if we put him as a central mid on attack, we're still strong up in here. Wide midfielder. Supports the forwards. Yeah, I think I want to keep him there. Yeah, we can't change any of that. And I think I'm going to make him just a uh, basic goalkeeper. Uh, with the center backs, I don't, you know, playing a 4 4 2, I don't think he has to come out too much. All right, let's see who we're going to be having in the roster today. Do I want a poacher? A deep lying forward on support. Just to see if that changed anything. Um, let's see. Bittner. Bittner's at 97. Mid center. Striker. Seeden. So I could take Johnson out, and I really want, I really want uh, Baker. 
Let's give Cohen. Let's put Cohen on the bench. He could play that mid left, which means he could probably play the mid right as well. Right? Maybe. I'm hopeful. Hopeful. Uh, kind of a, a bittersweet day today. This is the first uh, video I'm recording since the weekend. Um, I left town Friday after fr Friday uh, midday. Uh, went out of state, went to go visit uh, my parents, and we were there for uh, the funeral for my grandmother. Uh, you may or may not remember, she passed away a couple of weeks ago uh, at the age of 103 years old. Uh, she was actually five days away from her 104th birthday. And uh, so, you know, no tears were shed, which is probably the first funeral I've been to with no tears shed, uh, uh, you know, which was... But, you know, she had a good long life. And uh, but anyway, I took uh, Friday off for to drive up there. Uh, the funeral and everything was Saturday. Uh, drove back Saturday night. And uh, I just really wanted a, a day off to just kind of relax. Uh, just kind of get my thoughts together and, you know, get back to normal and everything. So, oh, my God. Okay, time out. There is something. Yep. No? All right. Uh, Sean705. He's actually a friend of mine in real life, uh, but he is a subscriber to the channel. Uh, he told me to take off the get stuck in, that he only uses that if you go down by two goals. So we'll give that a try. Everything else is fine there. And we're working into the box. So, yep, I think we're good there. Back out to the field, confirm changes, and play. All right, so a poor finish. That's going to be a goal kick. All right, Holmes. I was wanting to look at that because if we were playing an offsides trap just on the off chance, uh, my center backs looked well forward there. Oh, a little low, low liner by the keeper. So yeah, usually I play with the get stuck in, but he had noticed that I was getting a lot of yellow cards, which I've, I've made reference to. And uh, he said, hey, try that. So we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Sean, if we lose, it's your fault. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, nice header. I thought we had two guys marking him there. 15th goal of the season for Mike Can. Uh, get creative. Again, we're not, you know, we are the underdogs. We're not supposed to win here. Oh, no. Offsides. Whew. All right. Keeper went up for that and did not play the ball well. Take a look at that. He went up and just completely missed it. Hmm. All right. Here's our highlight. Good one. Oh, you needed to put a shot there, man. All right, over the top. Oh, nice tap by Stevenson. Knocked away. Push forward. Lumped in. Oh, nobody was there to pick up that ball. All right, Hume. All right, we cannot make it count. Five shots, three on target. Oh, that was not luck. Not lucky. All right, Hal's on him. Nice, nice poke away. Hal controls it. Punches it forward right to the other team. Oh, look at the nice one-two passing. Oh, you got to make those finishes count. Damn it. Davies. Oh, he blasted one in, but a nice block by the defense. All right, demand more. Focused. 
All right, Hurst with a fingertip save. We've got two minutes of stoppage time. Crossed in. No, 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 you cannot do that. You got to clear the ball out, not back into the middle. All right, slight edge in possession. Equal shots, equal shots on target. We're playing well. I still have three fouls. So, I don't know that there's really anything that we can change. Tell them it's disappointing. And then we want to play it calm to avoid any more fouls. Uh, let's see. Peter Davies is playing pretty rough. So is Dean Jones on the left side. I'm going to put Howe out there. And then Jones in for Bittner. Or Bittner in for Jones. Holmes. And yeah, nobody else can play out there. Hume. What's Goodwin look like? Uh, he's not horrible. Hume is quite a bit, a little bit better. I was wanting to see about getting Cohen in there. He's got some good leadership. You know what? I'm going to give that a try. We're going to put him over there, and then we're going to bring Cohen on. There we go. Cohen's got, a, he's not the best player, but he has really good leadership qualities. So maybe that leadership will get creative. All right, they're inspired. We're already attacking. All right, a double header out of the box unfortunately we don't control that all right Hurst gets to it good job all right he pops it out see look at that just real quick one twos headers right to their players man I'm jealous oh no he let him go he let him go no all right, um, all right, I'm going to put him on attack, him on attack, move him to attack. Central midfield, we're going to drop him to a support. And, oh, and now we're going to use the get stuck in. <laughs> yes, because we're down the two goals. Damn it. Our guy came off of that ball instead of staying after it. I don't know why. Demand more. All right, they're focused. All right. Uh, Joe Williams, I don't really have any finishing to put there. Hume's got 10 finishing. If we swap those two guys. Recording. I'm recording. Joe Williams. Let's bring him on for Sopel. All right. Hurst makes the save. All right, nice ball to Stevenson. Oh, Stevenson knocked away. If he would have beaten that guy, we had a two-on-one. Squared in. Ah, come on, fellas. Oh, nice ball. Was he on sides? It doesn't matter. The save was there. We've had a couple of opportunities. That's what, the third one knocked away by the keeper? Ah. All right, up to the top edge of the box. And nothing there. Holmes chases it back. I think that was our 
It was our opportunity to get one if we were going to get one at all. Come on, fellas. Don't, don't let him get a hat trick, please. All right, there's a cross in. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Gee whiz. Yeah, just not. Oh, well, nice steal by Cohen into Hume. Uh, beautiful goal. Danny Stevenson makes it look respectable on the score sheet. Nice ball movement. I'm very happy with that. Still take the loss. We were the underdogs. That happens. Uh, it was disappointing. I thought they still played well. Uh, let's see. And let's finish out the day. Pop ahead here. There we go. I think you have to finish the day for anything new to register. Right? Pretty sure. All right. Stevenson ends the goal drought. He had played 11 hours without a goal. That gives him seven goals in 20. I mean, he's playing well, right? Just not getting the goals. Not getting the goals. All right. Competitions. Uh, we were knocked out there. So we're going to be stuck at 50%. All right. Well, that keeps us uh, in the hunt here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, call that an episode. We'll come back. Uh, let's get through December. We'll come back against uh, Gloucester City. And, uh, oh, you know what I wanted to see? Where do these guys play? All right, they are in the National League South, Havant and Waterlooville. There they are, right there, ninth. All right, so, you know, they are one of the clubs above us, only by a few points. So... I, th I think mid table is about the best we can hope for. So yeah, let's let's uh, get through let's get through December. We'll play Gloucester City or Gloucester City, and then of course we want to come back for uh, Dunstable Town. I tell you what, let's come back for Weymouth. Nah, Gloucester City is a better side. But if you want to see a win, maybe I better come back against Weymouth. Let's come back for Weymouth because that's four games off camera and then we'll have four more games before the Dunstable Town and uh, then we'll be into the home stretch with the final three months of the season. Guys, please hit the like button for me. That's your way of showing support and that you like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you haven't done so or if you're new to the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.